Hey guys, Rainbow Red Panda here. I just wanted to make a quick video because trying to get back in the habit of doing that. Norton is not with me, but I do have <clears throat> one of my real life bunnies, Rorschach. He's here, so he's right here. Um, we'll see if he stays for the whole video or not. Um, I just sort of wanted to touch base on stuff. Um, I haven't made a lot of videos since I moved to New York over the summer, so I want to get back in the habit of doing that. Um, to do that, I want to try and just make um, like a random little video every week, whether it be comic relevant or other relevant. Um, and starting, we're recording tonight, but it won't come out until next Wednesday, I believe. Um, I'm going to start being on the Nerd Rage Renegades podcast. Um, the new season of King of the Nerds is starting and they wanted, they invited me to come and sort of give my thoughts on that every week and stuff. So I thought that would be fun and it's the same podcast, um, members that I used to do a podcast with so I missed them. Well, not all of them. Well, it's not all of the podcast members that I used to have a podcast with, but it's two of them and I missed them. So I wanted to try and do something else with them. So this project came up, so I thought, why not? So I'm going to be doing Nerd Rage Renegades. Um, it's on iTunes and Stitcher and Podbean. I'm not sure what Stitcher is, but it's a thing and they're on it. So if you go to any of those and search Nerd, Nerd Rage Renegades and all of that, they have Facebook and Twitter and they have all the things. So now they have me and I have a bunny and bunnies make everything better. So that's happening. Um, <clears throat> I had a few things that I wanted to try and talk about on my video today and trying to um, sort of look them up to form an actual opinion on them and learn more about them before I talked about them. I couldn't, I couldn't refine them. So um, here's what I do every day, pretty much. If I'm not making a video, which is going to be once a week, I'm usually at work. Um, I work for a vegan food truck. Um, currently I'm working in the prep kitchen. Um, we are like one of the most successful food trucks in the country, vegan or non-vegan. Um, if any of you aren't familiar with what vegan means, it's no animal products that all are used in the making of the food. There's no milk, no cheese, no, no animal meat, um, any of that even like honey and stuff, we don't use that. But we make all of these like delicious things. Um, there's lots of donuts, we're known for our donuts. And so I make a lot of that throughout the day. So that makes me happy because I get to bake a lot of food and everything. So so that's a fun time. But I, I do that pretty much all day. Um, and so I get to look at like Facebook and like Twitter and random websites little glimpses throughout the day but for the most part if I see something that catches my eye I just have to sort of remember hey this interests you and then go back at the end of the day and and re-look it up. So over the course of the last week I saw something on one of my Facebook pages. I thought that I remembered which one it was and I apparently didn't because I wasn't able to refine it but it was something about Deadpool dying this year. Which isn't, I mean, comic heroes die all the time. Deadpool is one of my favorites. But I tried to, like, find an article about it to actually, like, read more about it so that I knew, like, what, what I was saying. And I cannot find that. I can't even find the Facebook post anymore. So either, one, I completely dreamed this and it's not happening. Or I'm just really bad at looking stuff up. I just wanted to get the video made and not spend all day looking for the death of Deadpool. Because, I mean, even if Deadpool dies, he'll come back. Like, it's not the end of Deadpool. So, um, also, there, it looked like there's a new comic series coming out for Deadpool. Um, it's sort of a play on Deadpool kills Deadpool. I think it's, like, Deadpool saves Deadpool or Deadpool something else to Deadpool, which is positive instead of negative, like the kills one was. I, once again, cannot find any information on that. I'm, I'm failing at being on top of Deadpool right now. So I apologize for that. If anyone has any links for me that will further my knowledge of these things, or if I just completely dreamt this and it just seems like it's been really real to me and that it's a real thing, let me know because that would be really interesting. And that has been happening to me a lot lately. I've been having like very vivid dreams that I wake up and I'm like, did that really happen? Like I have to ask people like, hey, did we like, do this thing together or did we have this conversation because it seems like something that we would have done but I don't I don't know if it was just a dream or not so 
that's been happening. Um, also, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I've been watching um, Haven with my boyfriend, and we watch it like every night before we go to bed. And it is so funny because I like the show, and I'm not sure if he really does or not, but he watches it with me, and most of the time he falls asleep. But I don't know. I, I like it. It's sci-fi is sort of known for having weird movies and stuff but usually their their series aren't bad I mean some of the stuff on Haven is like a direct copy of like X-Files and stuff but people love X-Files and with it not really being a show anymore like have this one instead I guess I mean it's not a substitute like you'd probably be very angry if you watched it expecting X-Files but I mean, I don't know. I like it. We finally got the whole reason that I wanted him to watch it was because um, Edge from the WWE, um, formerly from the WWE, is is one of the characters on it, and we finally are on the episode that he debuts in. It's season two. I think it's episode four, three or four. He comes in and he plays Dewey, and I, I'm really excited to see him see like what his career has gone to after. He left the wrestling ring because that was that was really a sad time for me. He was always one of my favorites growing up, so I'm excited to keep watching Haven. But there's a lot of other stuff like Netflix and all of that. I still need to catch up on The Walking Dead. Um, I need to catch up on Game of Thrones. I need to catch up on everything. I'm so behind in just life. I'm still a few episodes behind in Raw for wrestling. Um, I've been watching it on Hulu Plus, which I'm thinking that if you, I'm not for sure, because like I don't have cable so I can't like watch Raw live unless I watch it like on a computer stream, which I've known before, like that's how I used to watch it in Illinois. But I think that on Hulu, because it's a three hour show, and on Hulu they cut out all the commercials and so it, it makes it down to like exactly 90 minutes, but I think that they also cut out some of like the jobber matches because you'll listen to like the commentary and they'll be like, like the first episode that I watched, um, they were talking about Adam Rose and the bunny and stuff. And if you don't watch wrestling, that means nothing to you. But like they were talking about that, but there was, he was never on the entire episode. So I think that they cut out the match that he was in. So that's happening. Apparently the UK, I think it's the UK, just got the WWE Network. And I've seen on Facebook that people have had some problems with it. So that sucks for you guys. And I hope they get it figured out. I have the network and I don't watch it very often because I don't have the time. I don't know, like, I, I, don't, I wonder what I have time for because I feel like I don't have time for anything. And it's sad because whenever I do make time for stuff, I don't know what to do. And in the last week now, two comic book stores that I'm aware of have closed that I've been close to. Like, there's a comic book store two houses down from from this apartment like two buildings down there is a comic book store like on my block and it was perfect and I was gonna you know go there eventually and get comic books all every week and stuff they closed this week they're they're moving like they are relocating so they're not just gone forever but they're not gonna be near me anymore so that's sad and then my favorite comic book store in St. Louis Star Clipper Comics which is in the loop and it's in this amazing area where I would go and see concerts and then I would go to like this mac and cheese bar and get mac and cheese and it, it's just one of like the best area ever. They announced yesterday that they are closing. I am very upset about that one. It makes me want to go back home to Illinois to check on my local comic book store because I'm starting to worry about them. That's like the biggest thing that I miss about Illinois is the comic book store. It's it's sad, but it's true. Like, I I don't know. I, I have dreams about it sometimes. I miss that store so much and I miss, I miss everything about it. I miss the comics and going and getting the new comics every week, but I miss the store too because it was a good store. But I guess that's all I really have for this week. It was just a bunch of rambling, but hopefully next week I'll have more of an agenda. Um, I will say, I guess, I haven't really read any comics this week, but over Christmas break I did read Seconds, which is the new book by the guy that wrote Scott Pilgrim, and it was really good. The only thing that I didn't like about it was that, in, I think it's in the third chapter, there's a dish that gets prepared, and I'll cover my bunny's ears. It's a rabbit dish, and um... 
because the whole premise is like having like house spirits and somehow the house spirit grows mushrooms i don't know and the mushrooms if ingested by a human and then you write in like this piece of paper like something that you regret or something it'll like change it so that it doesn't happen but every time you eat one of these mushrooms it affects the house spirit so eventually like the world crumbles and the house and all of that but one of the, the the girl the main girl in the story katie she decides that she likes these mushrooms and she's going to like make a dish out of them and um her dish is a bunny dish made of rabbit so that's depressing other than that though it was a really really good book if you like the scott pilgrim series i would highly suggest that you read seconds because it was really really good and there might be a cat coming up behind me soon i'm not sure he's he's back there being a cat but I think I am going to go. So this is my bun. His name's Rorschach. He's a boy. He's my babes. And I will see you guys next week. So bye.